Normally updates are a way to get players re-engaged with the franchise, right? That's why live services become so incredibly popular over the last five, 10-ish years or so. You can thank Fortnite for that. And with this Halo Infinite update coming right around the corner for us, normally it would get me really excited to jump in and play, but with this update, I'm just not really feeling it. And if 343 continues down this path, the decline of Halo Infinite is going to continue. But Kevin, Halo's already declined, move on. And while many haters out there will definitely say, oh, dead game, not worth playing which it's definitely not the case. People are still actively playing this game. But the whole point of updates is to reinvigorate the player base to get them to jump back in and play and I feel like with this fleet com operation it's just not gonna happen. Like yeah we're getting some updates to ranked I believe ranks are resetting with this update. We're getting some sandbox updates which some of them are actually pretty nice but they're nothing really that crazy impactful. Some forge updates which are gonna be really nice for people out there who are the Forgers who help like create content who help sustain this game right now because 343 is uh, kind of just limping in it seems like for the most part. And then we have the returning of a fan favorite mode that's been around since Halo 3 of VIP. They didn't mention Headhunter from Halo Rage is coming in later in this, se this uh, season or operation if that's really what you want, you want to call it. But again, all of this is like really just kind of like either reworking things that already exist in the game or bringing back things that we've played in Halo for over a decade at this point. Because honestly, I don't feel how I can get excited about VIP coming into Halo Infinite when VIP was really mainly for custom games. It's great for custom games, but like as an actual mode, like it was super niche and not a whole lot of people think of VIP when it comes to playing Halo. I will say the big thing that they definitely added in that actually adds to the sandbox with this update is that now you have grenade jumping coming back into Halo Infinite. But again, this is another feature that's been in Halo for decades and was removed in Halo Infinite for some reason. And I think it just helps add that extra level of skill that I think helps make things you know more fun for players to have more agency to create the gameplay experience how they want but why was this added into the game three and a half years later i couldn't really tell you why the wait and a lot of people say that these operations are much more of shop updates which kind of is the case i mean we go to any kind of comment section especially for like the fleet com announcement right you just type in the word shop You'll see many people just going like, whoa, new shop items, can't wait, get your wallets ready, boys, you know, kind of stuff. Like, it's not really anything that gets people, like, that excited to jump in and play. A friend of the channel, Late Night Gaming, left a comment which I think really rings very true when it comes to the current update status of Halo Infinite, saying, I really hope the next Halo is content complete at launch. VIP three years after launch is wild. And I would honestly agree with him because it's not, like, that crazy of a mode. It's just a variation of Slayer, basically. There is a positive coming along with this update, which is kind of meh as well, and that's the fact that you'll be earning 100 Spartan points for every match you complete after completing the daily challenges for Halo Infinite. So there's still a way to keep progressing in some kind of way, but again, the operations are really kind of sparse when it comes to content you can earn there the exchange really isn't that exciting. I mean, just looking at these items right here, I currently have like 7,000 Spartan points because I've been playing pretty casually when it comes to Halo Infinite. And you get like some coatings which are kind of nice, right? And some are kind of unique. You get a stance and some little shoulder pieces and armor pieces here and there. But like, again, like it's all like kind of reused stuff that we've seen already within Halo Infinite. Uh, most of it is just kind of like, oh, hey, if you miss this within like a weekly challenge, a weekly ultimate or something, you have a chance to unlock it. But again, like the exchange really isn't something that's like something really crazy to worth like grind the game crazy for. And talking about shop things, I feel like I have to talk about this as well. I just I get negative feelings now every time I see something cool within Halo Infinite because this is like the main art piece, right, that we saw for the reveal of the Fleet Com event, right? Uh, we have like these two different Reach armor sets, which whichever one will be in the past we don't really fully know but again if you look over here on the far left side you can see there is a haunted helmet that was in halo reach looking like it's going to be coming into halo infinite as well which people love this helmet but the thing is i just can't believe that that would be a free item for people to earn and if you put that within the exchange now we're talking that's something that's cool exciting the fun to grind for right that will definitely get people to play because people love their classic nostalgia pieces when it comes to halo between these three armor pieces like only one of these things are going to be within the operation patch which is going to be free so how much is all this going to cost and like what i stated in a previous video like 343 really needs to do something to change up the experience of halo infinite because if they don't 
will keep losing players. Because like I showed earlier in the video, these operations are just not working. If anything, it actually builds up more negative sentiment for Halo rather than actually doing anything positive for it. And one important thing I need to point out that changed, of course, what 343 originally planned for this event, or I should say operation, is if you look back at this blog for this image, this was for the blog of the Content Update 32 blog, and it showcased all these different armor sets. These are the different armor sets you're able to get for free within the operation passes but take note of two things one relic which is a remake of a classic map from map from halo 2 not currently in the game and no time frame we will see it and this was announced three months ago so like when's that happening you know it never was officially announced but like come on we've seen the leaks we've seen it in the background of official imagery like where is it at you know and, but the thing is, like, if you look at all this armor right here, this gray armor set for the Mark IV was most likely supposed to be the free armor set that you get within the Operation Pass. But when you look into Halo Infinite right now, uh, it's a different story because currently you have that exact same armor combination for 1,000 credits within Halo Infinite. So certainly something changed within the last three months. So in my opinion, this change happened because I think 343 is starting to run out of backlog content that they can really recycle or reuse to get people excited about playing Halo again and having this armor bundle into the shop rather than having it being something you can earn within an operation pass just makes me feel that something is going on in the back end where something changed where maybe the 343 is probably expecting Operation Surplus, which was now uh, Anvil, to be the last operation for Halo Infinite because there is an end date for this game, guys, because this isn't going to run on forever. We've seen the leaks and information about it saying that Microsoft hasn't really viewed Halo Infinite as a successful game or a game really honestly is kind of like worth pursuing or keep pushing forward. So right now we're just in this awkward sustained period of just kind of like just putting stuff out and just updating things to update things. And I'm honestly feeling like this coming year for Halo Infinite might be the last full year of some form of support for Halo Infinite. And after that, it's up to the community just to kind of do whatever they want with it. Though, honestly, I feel for the Xbox show of 2025, we'll probably get a Halo announcement along with the closure, if you want to call that, of Halo Infinite. So we won't think about that closure then and then move on and look towards a new cool shiny thing. So honestly, I feel like this trickle down effect of just constantly bleeding players at a slow pace every single month it's just going to continue on until there's almost no reason to update the game and then microsoft could use that or 343 could use that as a reason to say well not many people are interested in halo so it's okay to shut things down honestly i feel like these kind of lackluster updates are kind of in a way for people to just over time lose interest with halo so it's not such a harsh feeling when the live service of this game does officially end because so many people just have that feeling of like okay well i've already moved on anyway so losing halo infinite's live service doesn't affect me that much of course that's my little speculation cap going on right there but that's just how i feel what's going to be happening with halo infinite moving forward we do know 343 are working on multiple halo projects beyond halo infinite 343 has even stated this right so i think if anyone's still holding on, like oh we need new sandbox items or new dev maps to be put into the game like that's not going to happen guys it's forge maps and little updates like this one for fleet come that's going to be the foreseeable future of halo infinite until we get the new Halo announcement, and then I'm sure right after that, we'll probably get the official shutdown of any kind of live service -y type of updates for the game. Is there anything you feel that 343 could do to revitalize interest within Halo Infinite, kind of keep this game running? Let me know in the comments. If you missed any content from me recently, check out these videos right here. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.